Yo, Joe, Phantomaniacs. We are closing out this week of Needless Things with Torpedo. Uh, I love aquatic-themed toys, and this guy is definitely fitting that bill. Uh, box art is fantastic with the worms of death in the background, even though they're supposed to be undersea. Maybe they've floated up to the surface, disrupted by this submarine's activity. Uh, you've got some cool art on the side. I, I love the little uh, lens flare glare off the... That's not lens flare. That's glare off the tip of the uh, spear gun there. you got the QR code that does nothing as of this recording. Well, it takes you to Hasbro's website, which we, we don't need help with that. Uh, and you'll notice that Torpedo, six inches, he is also one of the more slight classified figures. Let's open this guy up. I, I adore this new packaging. I think it looks great. I'll be interested to see when they put a window in it how much it changes, but I've got to say I think aesthetically they need to leave it as close to this as they possibly can because this this is toy packaging perfection in my opinion. Uh, this guy came from Hasbro Pulse because Hasbro Pulse uh, came in first in pre-order roulette. We're going to put our weapons locker off to the side here and we're going to clip torpedo out of that tray. Which I love these cardboard trays because they do not warp the figures and this great grayscale art that they've got in the background, a uh, grayscale version of the box art, just looks awesome. It looks so cool. I kind of want to do a room like diorama for my classified series figures with these in the background is some kind of like fancy thing. I don't know. I just, I, I love the look of those. Uh, I will save those until I realize I don't really have the space to save those. All right. Torpedo. Definitely an important character in GI Joe. Uh, he was our first frogman underwater operative and played a, pretty decent role in the cartoons early on uh, and showed up in the comic protecting Fort Knox from Cobra while wearing his swim fins. So, I mean, if there is any greater mark of valor than that, I don't know what it is. Uh, portrait is so unique and interesting looks a lot like absolute ricky starks for any wrestling fans out there or to get even more niche of a niche uh, aew fans out there the wetsuit looks so good so let's let's do our comparison since it's available well side by side and this i mean what a translation this is what i want out of classified because it is true to the original figure but is just filling in all those little details look the original o-ring has little gear there that's a, that's a zipper wow see that's another fun thing about going back and revisiting these is stuff that i haven't really thought about or, or noticed in years like because as i've recollected vintage joe's I get them, I look at them, and I'm like, this is great. I clean them up, and maybe I don't necessarily sit down and like look over every single little inch uh, of these O-rings. And look at this. He's got zippers here and here, sculpted on that swimsuit. This, this, you know, every time I go back and look, I just realize that Real American Hero is one of the greatest toy lines of all time, if not the greatest. So, fantastic design on this guy. updated successfully on this one, although he does not have his zippers on his wetsuit. Uh, but he does have this added gear over here, which I really dig. This is a separate little piece. Uh, sometimes, and I don't mind these wrist pieces because they don't slide around like some of the other kibble does. Like this is a little annoying. I kind of wish they'd made this strap a little bit thicker. Um, and maybe it wouldn't be on an underwater operative. I like the pouches that are on the O-ring or a separate little piece here. I dig that. And I get it because they want to reuse this body and they want to put different details and belts and things uh, on this same wetsuit. But sometimes the way that this stuff slides around just kind of drives me a little nuts. I always try to line the belt up with the thigh cut 
so it's sort of concealing that joint a little bit, but you can't really do it here because in this bottom strap, I think it's just a little loose anyway. Uh, might be able to heat that up and get it to shrink down some though. We'll see. We'll find out. Uh, he's got his belt with great painted detail on there. Uh, he feels pretty solid. I think maybe some of the gummier figures we've gotten recently might we might be past that because he feels to me like the first waves of classified the plastic is a little more firm the joints all move pretty well uh, we we might be past the gummy joes it would be nice it didn't bother me hugely because they still looked great uh, but it is nice to feel a little bit of a higher quality plastic. Uh, interesting that the cut joint is right here, right above the top of the ankle, but they've managed to work it into the sculpt really nicely, uh, where they've got this ridge sculpted into the wetsuit. Uh, so, you know, if you turn it, you still get kind of an ugly joint there, but at least it's not just a cut joint in the middle of nowhere, just looking terrible. Uh, ankles are what the ankles are. I love the detail here on his boots swim boots I guess is that a thing swim shoes I know swim shoes are a thing but that doesn't seem I don't think he's wearing the same kind of footwear uh, for undersea operations that I'm wearing to the pool let's see the gloves even have look at that detail there on the gloves just looks great portrait is awesome this is like I said this is it this is what I want very very well done colors i love the the black and the gray have always been very striking uh but i love that they've worked that red uh because go back to the original figure now it's orange on his scoop on his tanks his air tanks uh but they've they've gone with a red rather than the orange and i actually prefer it because the orange to me feels like almost kind of like a rescue color i guess whereas the red just seems cooler so I dig that. All right, let's take a look at his loadout, which is fairly impressive by classified standards. All right, always make sure you got everything out of the bag before you throw it away. Oh, these feel great. Okay, we'll get to the swim fins in a minute. They really, really did a fantastic job with this guy. Okay. Simplest first, uh, he's got a knife with a red handle to match that other red that I pointed out on the figure. The knife has a very aquatic look to it. Just the barbs here on the end. Imagine getting stuck with that. Yikes. Uh, and that knife is going to go right into, I don't know which way, it doesn't matter because it's a nice rectangular sheath. I'll just slide it in that way and it's fine. Looks good. And again, that red just matches across. Looks great. I love this little, I guess, depth gauge and a little instrument, a little radar, or sonar, sorry, sonar. So probably a little depth gauge and a sonar going on there, maybe. Uh, he has a submachine gun with a removable magazine for his land operations. Uh, there is a hollowed out barrel, so you can use blast effects with that. Looks really cool. I like it. Let's take a look at his scuba gear. So he's got a more modern... Let's see. Okay, that goes on that way. Uh, he's got a more modern backpack than the original. You can see it's much more streamlined. Uh, just looks cool. Right? And then his mask that 
I do kind of wish the goggles were clear. It doesn't bother me that they're not, but I wish they were. Uh, he's got that same red going on up here, which is great. And that is, I'm sure, going to fit perfectly on his face. Oh, perfectly, perfectly. I'm going to plug those air hoses in. There we go. And that, I mean, look at that. Look at the edges. Go right up to uh, his ball. I don't know if that's a balaclava. When it's underwater, it is a balaclava. I don't think it is. Uh, right up to his head covering. Looks fantastic. The spear gun... I hate to be too critical, but the spear gun is a little cheap to me. I know. Let's see. Sorry, I've been... This is my fourth review in a row. I've been sitting in that chair for too long. I had to get up. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a fan of the line just being plastic like this. The, I... Like, I get it. This is a mass market retail line, and there's a way that these things have to be executed. The design of this is, it looks cool. I dig it. But this is, I don't know, It's it just seems weird to me to have a non-functional spear gun. I feel like this should come out at least... But then how do you attach it to the line? And then do you want a soft, good string on your spear gun? Not really, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the answer is. Maybe a differently designed spear gun. Do one more like the original uh, that doesn't have the line on it? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not completely satisfied with this. But at the same time, I don't know what they could have done with it. Uh, so that's got the strap. That goes around the wrist, which is a nice touch. And then that... Sorry, I've completely changed my angle from how I normally do these because I had to stand up. So things are getting a little hectic here. Uh, so, just like every other classified figure, holds it perfectly, looks great, well done. Uh, and then finally, the kind of in a weird way, I loved when my O-ring figures had stuff to peg into their feet like whether it was swim fins or snowshoes or skis or whatever the case may be i just felt like that was the coolest extra feature so i'm so happy to see uh these swim fins and i'm trying to decide oh yeah they are look they are individually designed and they don't peg in they just clip over like actual swim fins would work And just put that over the heel and they are on and they are secure and they look awesome they've got that red to go with the rest of the red pieces on the figure they are very flexible which is great i would be so bummed out if these were like hard plastic which that's an odd thing to say about a figure accessory because usually it goes the other way but these needed to be a nice soft plastic and they are they're great uh and then let's see he's got a clip back here is that for that doesn't seem like it's thick enough is that that might be for this well no look though there's a specific shape to this it seems like this should clip in here there we go I mean it's clipped in there whether that's correct or not I am not positive <laughs> Uh, but it is certainly securely clipped as though it was meant to be in there. Because I didn't feel like the spear gun would go there because that would look weird having this big long thing there. So I think I think this is correct. Uh, so there it is. There is Torpedo. I don't know how I'm going to display him on the shelf because he's going to be... I want to see that face, but I also love the gear. 
the the, the mask and everything. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure how he's going to go. Uh, but there he is. I think they killed it on this one. Excellent job, Joe team. Uh, you guys, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Oh, okay. You know what? Real quick, he should have the pivot here because you can't get him into a good swimming position uh, without that old joint that the first classified figures had. I really, really wish they'd bring that back. All right, so anyway, there you go. Otherwise, he's great. He looks awesome. Uh, classified is just killing it. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things. And until next time, Yo, Joe! Smash that like button if you like needless things.